massed bands of the regiments of the Rhine. The British Army in Germany prepare a special Silver Jubilee Parade for Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen and Prince Philip are met at Senelaga by the Right Honourable Fred Mully, Britain's Minister for Defence. Welcoming Her Majesty on behalf of the West German government, President Walter Scheel and Frau Scheel. In preparation for the Queen's visit, the Royal Engineers have accomplished the daunting task of clearing a vast gunnery range for the review. A beautiful day and a happy occasion. From the Range Rover, Her Majesty inspects the assembled troops. On the review stand, the Royal Party wait for the march past of the massed band. followed by the artillery and other units of the Rhine army. 3,000 troops and 573 vehicles take part in the Silver Jubilee Review. This is the largest parade ever staged by the army. Most of the 25,000 spectators at Senelaga are soldiers of the Rhine army and their families, but many German military and civilian guests are also present. For all of them, it's a day to remember. A salute in steel from the tanks. Massive guns almost seem to have minds of their own. In his welcoming address to the Queen, General Sir Roland Gibbs, Chief of the General Staff, said how fitting it was that the army should pay tribute to its sovereign here in the heart of the NATO alliance. Organized to the second, the parade is a triumph of colorful ceremony and a display of strength and efficiency. Enter the helicopters, the eyes and ears of the modern army, hovering within inches of their prescribed position in the review. As a grand finale, the 4th Division rolled past under the umbrella of Gazelle and Scout helicopters. All kinds and manner of track vehicles, tanks, bridge layers, troop carriers, self-propelled guns,
the might of a modern army. Her Majesty's Army of the Rhine, a force to reckon with, for a monarch to be proud of. <laughs>